this video I'm looking at here, you know, this is a bigger problem than than um, people really understand. Um, like I say, when they always go on this whole hiring crisis, you know, the, 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 the truth is the people who made a living off of this are not really interested in any of their family members getting into it because of the, the raw treatment that we've gotten. So um, it doesn't make sense when I say it. So I'm making these videos for y'all to see um, that I'm not making that up. That's an, that's an observation. Some of them are here living in the truck. There's really nowhere for them to go. I can't pay their bills for them, but I can, you know, I can be a listening ear. I can be a friend and I can make them feel important while they're here. God bless that dude, man. How long you been driving? 41 years. 41 years. Always, always coast to coast? Always, yes. You would say that trucking life has been good for you? If I had it to do over again? No, I wouldn't be a trucker. And there's the thing. You know, that, that's a all, that dude's all in. You know. Not really big on learning. That's why I always tell y'all, I don't want this to be doom and gloom. I tell you to learn something else. Learn something else. Let this take you out of poverty, but learn something else. The middle, the, the, the blue collar guy is the guy that I'm going to get this job and I'm going to keep it forever. That is not the plan these days, bro. I mean, look at what tech does. Look at what corporate does. I mean, I was watching this one thing where it was saying, if you're getting into a tech job, what is the first thing you're supposed to do when you get that job? What? Plan your escape. You need to be looking for something. You need to be, it, sitting in one job for 30, 40 years, that, that's just, it's, it's outdated, bro. It's outdated for many reasons. But let, let, let's hear what else um, he has to say. If you had to do it over again, you wouldn't be a truck driver. No way. The middle class man just struggles more and more every day got two sons and I told him don't don't think about no truck and see that don't think about no truck that's that to me that's that's so messed up bro it, it, not him I'm just saying that to beat that predicament is so sad bro you, know, you supported him and raised him on it like not raised him to be it but you know that money supported and raised them, and he's telling them, don't get into it. You know, comment at the bottom, why? Why do y'all think he's saying don't get into it? Why do you think he's saying that? I'm not going to say it. Y'all comment at the bottom and tell me why he's saying that. Sad, bro. Another huge problem with being over the road isn't just, you know, like being away from the family. It isn't about the, you know, no time off or whatever. It's, you have absolutely no interaction with anybody. There's a thing with prisoners where they become like institutionalized. Something similar happens to some of these truck drivers. And it's. I've been saying it and been saying it and been saying it. Then I, I, then I say, I tell y'all stuff like that. I said, oh, the biggest thing is depression. I'm not depressed. We're talking about 3 million people. Not just you. Depression's a big problem, bro. It's a big deal. And if you go into it not thinking I have to maintenance my mental, you're going to end up there. You're going to end up there, man. It's the older ones that you see more of it in. These guys that are 60, 55, 60, have been driving for 20, 30 years. You'll be sitting there with about five, six people, and you're all cutting up, eating dinner, you know, talking, having a good time. And this old guy will walk in, and he'll walk all the way to the back corner. And he'll sit. I've been that guy, bro. I'm not that old. I'm a back corner guy. I'm not going to lie, because it's like, after my day, I don't, I mean, don't want to talk about anything. I don't want to hear about trucking. I've been doing it all day. At least that's, that's the excuse I give myself, but you know, who knows when I was deep in the OTR, what was that? What was that? Sit in the booth by himself away from everybody and won't talk to nobody, sit there, eat his dinner. Look at that dude. 
<laughs> I mean, that's the quintessential solo driver, bro. Old head knows everything. He's like the super Saiyan driver, bro. 10, 15 years, no accidents, no service calls, no nothing. Old truck, purring. That's the guy that probably has all the gems you need. And he doesn't even want to talk. And then get up and walk out. That's all he knows is solitude. We go out to supply the America of everything. You know, that's what my gratitude is, what I get out of it. That's what fills my heart. That's what keeps me going. Are you the are you the sole supporter of the income or does wife work? They just diagnosed her with lupus and Jeez. first stage of dementia. So I spent my life out here doing good, you know, moving America and keeping everybody supplied. Now my wife of 39 years pretty soon ain't gonna know who I am. Man, that's brutal, bro. That is brutal, man. Oh, my God. That is brutal, man. Then he got to sit. Man, he got to sit and think all them weeks he was gone. And he wish he could get more time with her. And he spent it out here. He's a person who can be bitter, bro. Jeez. That is rough, dude. You know, what do you do? Get back in that damn truck and, and get driving. Cause He's still driving, bro. He's still driving. <sighs> Bills have got to be paid. Yeah, and he did those 30, those 30 years, and he doesn't have enough to stop with her, at least until she doesn't know who he is no more. That is Oh my God, bro! Y'all, is this joint get me going, bro? People are made to do this. There's people who's not. In a way, you have to lead a double life. You have a life when you're at home, but then it's like a separate life out here. Great, agree. And the bad part is, when something bad goes home, you have to live that life in that turmoil and then live it again out here until things stabilize. I think I'm gonna run for a little bit this winter for Glenn. He said he had some pretty decent stuff coming up. Yeah. You know, he's got work anyway, so. Well, I guess that puts an answer to the rumor about 20 people getting laid off. Yeah. That's Mine one of too. the bad things. Sugar, sugar, pay attention. If you would, uh, with diabetes, mm -hmm. is your eyesight varies depending upon where your blood sugar is. Yeah. When you start any diabetes medicine, the freaking, what that does to your medical condition out here on the road with the medical card. Oh, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They can pull your medical card in a hurry. All right, a bowl of jelly. Oh, <laughs> That's all you get today, that's it. He's talking about diabetes, but look what they're serving them. And you'll say, why is he eating that, bro? What does he know, bro? What are you going to do? Tell him to make quinoa? What are you going to say? What are you going to say, bro? He should be doing something healthier. Dude, these dudes been driving for 20, 30 years. This health stuff y'all talking, this has been in everybody's face for what, 10 She's dropping off sausage, salt, and sugar, bro. I'm gonna take your food away now. No? Yeah. Do you want hot wow. Sauce? It's a basketball place. Okay, and I'll be right back to your burger. Okay, thank you. Yeah. And the coffee pot. That stuff looks delicious, by the way. Please. Oh, but I have all kinds of struggles going on. I almost lost my son in August. He was in a he was in the hospital for two months. He got a, he was in a bad motorcycle accident. Jeez. Family's always something you need help with. <laughs> you know, I h hate to say this because it, uh, you know, make make the wife sound like a bad person. It isn't necessarily all her fault, but uh, one of the reasons I'm out here because it makes it easier. <laughs> He's out here to get away from his old lady. That's insanity. I've said that before too, but I digress. She used to drive. 
and she got sick and things got pretty tough there for a while. It started in her tonsils and then went to, it moved to the lymph nodes in her neck and they had to do a full neck dissection on her. Jesus, man. So she went through the, about the worst radiation and chemo you could do. Seven weeks of it, then, yeah. Gee, that man. was one of them, <sighs> Well, I got things, I tell you, I promise you. And it's, I mean, it's still it. Jesus, man. This is a brutal life, bro. Like, it, 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 it gets you out of poverty, man. But what you're, what you're watching here is the lifers, man. You know? That eats me up, bro. It does, man. It eats me up, dog. Because it's like these people, not only have they done 30 years plus in, in the truck, they've been 30 years monogamous, bro. 30 years monogamous. I mean, talk about a group of a group of guys they're showing us that did what they were supposed to do, bro. Did what they were supposed to do. Kept their old lady, kept their job, or kept their career paid their taxes no criminal records probably they're god-fearing guys they're in a chapel so they're they're obviously a uh, higher power believing guys and the country freaking hates them dude that's what that's what's weird about it it's like they're an annoyance on the road you don't want them to park nowhere you know, you don't have bathrooms for them when they pull up. That's the stuff that pisses me off, bro. That, you know, I'm sorry I'm triggered right now, though. I'm really, I'm really feeling some type of way right now. So I'm just going to hit the play button. You came to the Lord when? I've probably attempted suicide. Jeez. Half a dozen times. I tried to hang myself and they found me hanging from, from the door with a, a sheet, you know, wrapped around my neck. Well, you know, sometimes we have to be protected from ourselves. What scares me is not having the, the financial, you know, security, uselessness, worthlessness. Oh my God, this dude's hitting all the markers, bro. You know, we make decent money, but we're not secure. That's a thing, bro. That's a thing. It's like you make good money if the market's going good. You make good money if the truck works. You make good money if your DM likes you. It's like there's no security, bro. Um, not knowing what you're going to do next. I've and I know people are going to look at this and be like, oh, man, you know, everything's just depressing. Dude, if you're one of those people that say, oh, man, this is depressing. I, I don't like looking at depressing stuff. Then you're an idiot, bro. What you're seeing is you started a path. And this is what people look like 20, 30 years after the path. If at a bare minimum, this should be studied. You should be studying this as a person. You should be studying this. You understand? You should be studying this. this so, so, you, so you can take, you can learn from their perceived mistakes if you perceive them as such. You can learn from it. It's not, a, oh, it's the prison, look at it. Then you're, you're a dummy. You're, you're a sheep. I don't get things squared away with God and everything will be okay again. Who really knows when, when your number's up, when God says, that's it, I had enough, I'm bringing him up. You know, hopefully, you know, hopefully he's bringing you up. Um, who knows what, you know, when, you're, when your luck's gonna run out. That's, but man, I'm still willing to do it, you know? Why? It's, it's nuts. It's nuts to want to do that. And it, it, exactly. It's nuts. And to be that nuts and do something that extreme and the average driver is making $49,000 a year, it's a crime, bro. I don't care what no one, it's a freaking crime. At least this should be like you're balling. At least. 
to do that and still think about money is nuts. It's nuts. It's not right. I, I don't feel it. It's nuts, bro. I mean, that was a, that was an awesome video, man. Um, it's it, it comes from a documentary. Uh, the Love of Trucker, uh, the Atlantic. Uh, the, you can check this video out on the Atlantic. That's the uh, the the name right there of uh, the, uh, the YouTube channel. Um, it's called the Double Life of a Trucker, and it's it's just it's. You know, I I, I wish. You know, I, I wish, wrong button, wrong button. I wish, you know, this wasn't the reality or this wasn't what was going on, but the truth is it is. And I don't know how many times I've told y'all, you know, there's no rainbows at the end of this career. Use this career for what you need it for. Can it get you out of poverty? That's exactly what it's going to do. So don't think, oh, I don't want to do it now. Dude, there is risk in everything you do. There's risk in everything you do. It can get you out of poverty. It can get your credit back put together. It can get you in a position to pay for the next thing you want to do. It can help you buy real estate, as they say. You, it could do all of those things. But what I, when I look at this, I think these are the people who just did it. And that is what I'm going to do. And this is what it ended up being when you don't think of nothing. When you trust in trucking to take care of you, but it's like, it'll do it, but you got to think for yourself, you know. You know, you got to do it for yourself, and you also got to think of the decisions as well because, yeah, there's some decisions, bad decisions that have obviously been made, choices of food, choices of health, exercise, you know, things like that. But you got to know that if you just try to do this on autopilot, that is, that is some things that can happen to you. At least has to be presented to you. Not just, oh, you're going to be a baller and you're a boss. That is not the reality, dog. And when I said, when you get to the end of it, you don't have a bunch of money, you don't have a bunch of health, y'all didn't, y'all cussed me out for that. You cussed me out. But that's the truth. These dudes are, some of them were retirement age and they were still driving. It's like, it's brutal, man. It's brutal. I just wanted to bring that to y'all and, you know, uh, hopefully it, somebody needed to see that. Hopefully somebody's going to take that and say, you know, I'm going to work a little bit on my health or I'm going to, I'm going to take some online classes in the back of the truck on my laptop. Or I'm going to, um, you know, I'm going to look at getting a position that gives me more time to work on my health or more time with my family. Maybe it says something like that to you. You know, maybe it says something like that to you. But understand, man, it's, 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 you have to think more. It's not just the next load, bro. It's not just the next. I think that's the best way to put it. Trucking is not just the next load. It really isn't. I hope this touched somebody. I hope this helped somebody get some things thought through. I hope you subscribe to the channel. I hope you hit the like button. Show love for the content. Don't do drugs. Be happy. And let's try to be as healthy as we possibly can, man.